So now we've created both a place mark, this is Lake Okoboji, a polygon, lakes of northwestern Iowa, a path, which is a stream, and a tour, travel across Minnesota border and back. So now that we've done all this, um, we need a way to save this because right now all of these things just exist within my places. They don't actually exist anywhere else and if we were to close out the program and go into a different profile these things would likely disappear. So we want to save these to a file and there's a special way that we can do this. So first of all I'll just click on Lake Okoboji. Remember we made a snapshot view of this so it's taking us to a particular perspective down here and we can see our path, our polygon, and our place mark. And the tour doesn't show up but we know that if we clicked on this what would happen is that we would if we double clicked on this we would have this sidebar come up and we would take this tour and just a note if you want to take the tour super fast you can press the fast forward button and it will take you across the border and back that much faster so you can see that there alright so I'm gonna X out of that and so what I want to do now is save these things and so the easiest way that I found to do this is to come up to my places, uh, right click on it, and click add. And then you want to add a folder. And your folder will be, um, for instance, um, uh, John's project. Or better yet, John's presentation. And then you can put a description under it if you want to. Um, you know, a tour of Northwest Northwest Iowa with emphasis on lakes. It's just an example. So I'll click OK. And notice how this folder now exists down here, but there's nothing in it. So how are we going to get our, our stuff into this folder? Well, this is where it becomes really simple. It's basically just drag and drop. So you see here I have the tour. I'm going to see how I have this plus sign come up. I'm going to drag it in there and notice now that I have a, a flippy triangle that I can flip back and forth and things that actually go inside of this folder. So I'm going to just drag everything into that folder. And now I can flip this folder shut and everything in that folder is displayed. If I want it not to be displayed, I can unclick that check mark and notice now everything goes away. And I can click it and it comes back. You can also twirl this this open and say I just don't want to show like a kaboji or I just don't want to show this path. And so you can customize the look of your presentation or bring things in for dramatic effect uh, one at a time if you want to. So now we have things in a folder, but I decide, you know, I really want to have Lake Okoboji and Lakes of Northwestern Iowa. I want them in their own folder, and I want Stream and the travel across the Minnesota border. I want them in their own folder. So that's simple, too. So you come up back up to um, John's presentation, for example, or My Places, whichever you want, and you right-click it, and you go to Add, and you say Folder. So I have another folder, and now this is just going to be uh, Lakes. So I click OK and lakes appears down here. Notice how it's a folder that's below John's presentation. So if I were to close this triangle, those things disappear. I'll bring it back. And now I'm going to drag Lake Okoboji. Notice I have this plus sign again. And lakes of northwestern Iowa, I'm going to drag that here. And notice now that I have a lakes folder that I can turn on and off. And that controls those two things, but not the stream and the travel across the Minnesota border. So I'll click to reinstate those things. So you can create as many folders as you want, under folders, everything like that, to customize the way you organize your own place marks.